this may be off the subject matter of afterlife, but uh, I noticed about the Ukrainian war that President Putin has um, issued orders that um, any one, any Russian soldier or any Ukrainian soldier or any Ukrainian civilian so killed so dies is not to be left behind yeah yeah and he has ordered his crematories mobile crematories to go in there and clean up the mess that their, his Russian soldiers has done kill the civilians kill this kill that cremate everything um, there are basically uh, semis, civilian semis, going you're going in there and just picking up the dead bodies and great big dump trucks. Uh, Putin doesn't want to be charged anymore with, as a war criminal. Of course, he's already a war criminal. So finding dead bodies is going to be a big problem with, um, you know. And uh, the other one is to walk into a village and take everybody out of it. Put them on trucks and take them to Russia. Get them out of the thing. There will be no, no civilians left anywhere. Uh, take the bodies out of there. Take anything out of there. Go to the hospitals. Um, anybody in the hospital gets tossed into a truck and take, take to Russia. Because Putin doesn't want to be considered a war criminal. People forget. A um, few thousand... Um, few thousand civilian bodies there if they're if they're not there then you know you can turn them to dust in Russia and you know the convoys they're re realigning their troops um, take any prisoners don't execute them on the spot execute them in Russia so any Ukrainian soldiers so captured will never be seen again it's um, it's the Russian way of doing things. There are no prisoners. There are no civilian deaths. Um, so there will be a, a task for it. And they, as, as I said before, they have mobile crematories. And, uh, well, they get all the gas they want. But, yeah, yeah. Well, Joseph Stalin had did the same thing when he is... His, um, he had mobile crematories. Well, he had a, Joseph Stalin had a big crematory in, in uh, Russia, and yearly he would get 20,000 of questionable loyal citizens and turn them into dust. You know, ashes, ashes. <coughs> mm. I got the plague. But, yeah. So, I would think the... Uh, the United States, and Ukraine, and European will no longer find dead Russians anywhere. They will not find any dead Ukrainians, uh, soldiers, or um, civilians. They're all going to be shipped off. All their bodies are going to be shipped off to Russia, which is just, you know, 50 miles away. Um, well, Putin doesn't want to be seen as a war criminal. He doesn't want to go down there. He doesn't want the... Um, the Russian citizens to find out he's a war criminal, which he really is a big scale war criminal. Genocide is a better word. Well, his orders were to kill all the Ukrainians, but at that time he was going to sweep over the capital and sweep through everything, and Ukrainians were not going to put up any resistance. Oh, they got a few guns coming into them, they get them some training, but they're not good enough for Russian troops. The Russians Russians have for centuries is massed charging the enemy. Um, Stalingrad um, uh, Russian uh, KGB officers you might say political officers uh, would give hey, here's a rifle Give it to one citizen to have nine citizens follow the guy into battle. 
and the first guy who got shot with a rifle, the guy behind him picks up the rifle and charges the uh, German troops, which was really shocked the German troops that uh, Russians charge into their machine guns. And the reason was uh, for the Germans to not have any ammo to, to kill Russians. And um, because the Russians have the sheer number of volunteers, volunteers, that were willing to charge the enemy, willing to charge the enemy, and uh, are willing to die for the country, willing to die for the country. Mm -hmm. And if they didn't charge the enemy, the KGB shot them. And if they decided to retreat, the KGB shot them. Yes, they were the guy. The, the guys out with the machine guns. You know, you or I were going to charge the enemy, and they considered them expendable. Well, actually, ninety-five percent of the Russian population is still expendable. Uh, they're expected to die for the uh, for the uh, for well, Putin. Where you die for Mother Russia, or you die for President Putin. In this case, it's President Putin because most of Mother Russia doesn't see this war as it is. They don't see the destructions. They're all there told, why? We're going to free them from the not 10 million Nazis in that country. Okay. But like I said before, um, Americans are never going to find any more dead bodies to speak of. Um, people will not be lying dead in the streets very long. they either be cremated as the trucks get there or shipped back. Um, yeah, 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 you know. Okay, uh, what can I say? Um, which is, there's other problems here about fighting in wars. Uh, it's the amount of people that fighting in, they're they're fighting for their lives, and the Russians are fighting for Russia, or President Putin. Um, the Ukrainians, well, as Putin as Putin said, he's going to eradicate the Ukrainians. He has a solution. If there's no Ukrainians left in. Ukraine, then he can move in. Yeah, I think, and he has no problem with taking out <coughs> citizens and shipping them back to Russia, where they will vanish. Mm. What a guy! What a guy! And uh, here he uh, <coughs> cleaned house, did a little purging. Stalin did the same thing, but. He's doing the same thing. If the uh, Russian commanders uh, do not follow his orders, like pick up the dead so the Americans can't see them, Europeans can't see them, or the Ukrainian army can't see them, he will have them executed. You know, do as I tell you or else. And um, don't leave Russian dead. If you can take your own dead, take them back. Get rid of them. Turn them to ash. Don't let don't let the Ukrainians fight them, you know. Because it's turning out to be being um, burying bodies doesn't work any longer. Uh, you got cadaver dogs out there sniffing around. So, you know, the ashes, the ashes, dust, the dust. Is Putin wise as that? No, he's really stupid. But uh, he learns by his mistakes. Uh, he learned that when he was in Georgia, in those towns, uh, right outside, they pounded the town to dust, and then they went in there and cremated all the bodies. Yeah, mobile cre cremation stations. Very clever. Well, I guess they're used to killing. Oh, well, I think that's all I have to do to say about this.